I wonder how long that's been there. Welcome back everyone to more from the Sable Eyes. I'm Mitch and today we're going to take a look at the brand new Chilling Rain set. Uh, Pokemon has very kindly sent me through a box of Chilling Rain to open. So we're going to crack into this and I'm going to talk to you about some of the best cards that are coming out in this set. So this is it. Like, I, I don't normally do this kind of stuff. I used to do I used to do tabletop things all the time, but not anymore. I've got two cameras set up, so you, this one here is for our cards, and obviously you'll be looking at me through here. It is scissors time. Let's get into this box. Now, I am not normally one to blow up with excitement. So if you are watching this box opening video, hoping for me to go, Oh my god! I can't believe I got it! I'm, it's not going to happen. I'm just not going to do it. I'm much more likely to have a very subdued reaction to it. So uh, that is that is quite likely. What I am going to do though, is I am going to talk through all of the cards that are good in this set. So I may miss some terrible Vs, right? Whilst I'm talking about a trainer. That could happen. It's just, it's likely to happen. What do I do with this box? Anyway, okay, so, Chilling Rain, we are looking for a couple of very nice Pokemon, particularly the one on this box, of oh, this art. That would be nice. One of these would be nice as well. We'll see how we go. This is, this is all very exciting. I don't know, is this, is that too loud for you? <laughs> Maybe I'll open them over here. Uh, now also, you ain't getting my codes. So don't think that that's happening. I'm putting them to the side. You're not even going to get a look at him. Uh, also, I'm not going to do the dumb pack trick. Who cares about the pack trick? We're just going to go straight in and have a look. There's some really, really cool artwork in this set. This Sobble's pretty neat. Look at him. Look at him sitting there. That's kind of semi-playable. Uh, it's the Rapid Strike Pokemon. We've got a couple of trainers at the end there, but they're not particularly useful. Flannery's kind of neat, but, you know, whatever. Bulk pile. Let's keep cracking. So, as a player... Opening boxes is very different to being a collector, right? Because a collector will sit here and, and they'll yammer on about the artwork and all of that kind of stuff. And they'll they'll talk about all those kind of things. When they get a hit, they'll be very excited. Um, but being a player is kind of sad. Because what you do is you just go, that pack was, that was, just, that was just useless. Just a useless one. Let's go to another. That's pretty much all it is, right? That's the entire video. You just have to accept it. Am I going to cut bits out? Maybe. Let's keep going here. Oh, Galarian Surfetched is interesting. Because I might need this for the OG150 challenge. It's not very good. Leak Strike is acceptable. I'll put it up on the screen properly, uh, potentially, if I if I care enough to do it. Again, another dud pack. So far we have one Sobble, which is exciting. <laughs> I don't know how to make this. This is a different type of content to what I'd normally make. My, my entire setup is not... I'm not designed to do this. I'm designed to do other things. What have we got in this one? Nothing again. But we do have a Melanie. Let's talk about Melanie for a second, shall we? This supporter is actually very, very good. Attaching a water energy from the discard pile is incredible. You can attach it to one of your Pokemon V on the bench. And then you draw three cards. So it's kind of kind of like Welder. It's going to see a lot of play, so I would 100% recommend that you pick up a playset of this, because Melanie is a good card. In fact, it's better than Sobble. Get out of here, Sobble. You don't deserve a place on the map. We're just going to keep on pulling on through here. Hopefully we can get some decent pulls and we can all pretend to be very excited for a second. That would be brilliant. Open through. Anything interesting. Oh, wow. I am really having a ripper of a... A ripper of a set. Let's talk about Brawly as well. I think I had one of them before, but, you know, this one's reverse holo. So, so let's talk about it. Brawly, where am I going? I'm going over here. When you can search your deck for three Rapid Strike Pokemon, that is incredibly good. It's like the old Bridget, right? So you can play this supporter card to get yourself three Rapid Strike Pokemon. Rapid Strike Urshifu is pretty good. Rapid Strike Inteleon from this set is pretty good. Brawly, good card. Go over there in the little Sableye slot. Very exciting. Uh, now, if you want to see more of this kind of nonchalant box opening, I'm happy to do it. I've got a ton of product coming um, that I've purchased from local stores, but to be honest, I'm not normally a big fan of this, right? So I, I tend to be of the opinion that I should make content that I would like 
to watch. Oh, sick. That's a good card. That is a very good card. Um, is this Peony a good? Put three prize cards in your hand? I had heard of that one before, but I don't know. I don't know how any of this works. Uh, but yeah, if you want to see more content like this, then let me know down in the comments. I'm happy to open up boxes on stream or on camera, because it's fun, in a way. Uh, Inteleon, Rapid Strike Inteleon. Just ignore my disgusting finger there for a second. Quick Shooting is the ability which we're going to talk about. Once during your turn, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokémon. That is super, super good. That's going to pair very nicely with Rapid Strike Urshifu. So if you are a fan of Rapid Strike Urshifu, this is a card that you definitely want to get a hold of. That goes straight on the page. Good stuff. Also, ignore my ignore my camera. It's just an iPhone. I've just got my iPhone hooked up to OBS. Why not? I can't imagine how people actually open these packs and then, like, they've opened boxes upon boxes and boxes. Um, because, I mean, look. My floor's already disgusting, and I've only opened six packs. So that's pretty wild. Let's keep pushing through. We have some stuff. Not good stuff. But stuff. Look at, look at these gloves. Look at these gloves. Only in Pokemon would you get a couple of trainer cards, a couple of support cards that are just gloves. Deal more damage to Dark and Grass Pokemon. Semi-useful. Rapid Strike Scroll of Skies is a cool item. I don't know whether it's going to be useful, but it's definitely cool. It's got the Grab Drop attack on it. Gives you an extra attack, right? Uh, does 10 damage plus 50 more for each of your opponent's energy on their active Pokemon. Which could be very, very good. I like it. Our first pull of the day is a Volcanion V. Look at that. Look at that little card. Now, Volcanion is and always has been one of my favourite Pokemon thanks to Volcanion EX. And I'll put that up on the screen if I've got enough time or care to do so. I like the Pokemon Volcanion. But this card is not necessarily super strong. It's good... If I can get an area of, of zero glare, which I can't because I've put a sleeve on it. It's good, but it's not great, right? It's just a good V card. It's a single strike, so you can attach single strike energy to it. But it has that fire type costing, which is a bit of an issue. You could potentially use the new uh, energy from the set to do that. Let's just put the, uh, the regular cards over here, uh, just so that people can see. I'm sure we're going to get a bunch of other stuff. I'm sure of it. I don't know if opening the packs over here is helping with the audio at all. All I know is that I'm doing it. Cub Foon, look at him. Look at the little fella. Alright, oh cool, another good card that we can talk about. I don't know if any of those are any good. Let's just move on past him. Let's just move on past him. Karen's Conviction. Sam, if you're watching, this card is a cool... Cool card. Where are we going? Over here. Look at that. During your turn, single strike Pokemon deal 20 more damage for every prize card that your opponent has taken. An excellent comeback mechanic for these type of decks. When you think about it, a single strike Pokemon, like single strike Urshifu, can deal a huge amount of damage as it is, but sometimes it can't quite get there. It needs a little bit of help. And the thing that I think Karen's Conviction is going to help the most with is Surviper, which is a card from this set that we I don't think we've seen any yet. But anyway, it's an incredibly good card that I'm definitely going to make a video on, uh, and Karen's Conviction works very nicely with that. Whoop. I hope you don't care about cards being in mint condition, because I just nicked it, and it was it was awful. But that's okay, we're just going to keep cracking along. That's what it's all about. What's your favourite card? I feel like, this is very, I feel very disingenuous. This is not what I would normally do. Anyway, let's keep plugging away, plugging away. Heracross is a nice looking card, but uh, not particularly good. What a set. So much bulk in this set, unbelievable. <laughs> we're just going to keep on pushing. Hey Bucket, how you doing? My cat's looking at all the rubbish on the floor being like, what is going on in here? Keep on moving, we have a ton of cards to get through. None of the ones in here are worth talking about though. Zangoose is neat. Into the bulk pile you go. <laughs> it's pretty much... <laughs> it's a sad time. It is a sad time opening Pokemon cards as a, uh, as a player rather than a collector, but that's okay. We're just going to keep pushing past it. Hopefully I get some more good cards so I can talk to you about them, because that's what this whole video is supposed to be about. Just going to keep pushing through. Ah! Excellent. Let's talk about this Surviper. Um, Avery is also probably worth talking about, to be honest, because they're both decent cards. We'll talk about Avery first and then Surviper, uh, because Avery, as a supporter, is pretty neat. You draw three cards, which tends to be one of the effects that, you know, Pokemon likes you to do at the moment. And then, if you drew cards that way, then your opponent discards Pokemon on their bench until they have three. So, if you're worried about cards like Eternatus, Eternatus VMAX obviously having a large bench, then this supporter could be a nice way 
of countering it. So Viper, however, is one that I do want to talk about, because this is a really cool one prize attacker. Uh, it's a shame that it's a rare, honestly. My cat jumping up onto the thing. Uh, double Dark plus a Colorless Strong Tail does 90 damage. Plus you get to deal an extra 90 if you play a single strike supporter from your hand during your turn. So that means if you play Bruno or Karen's Conviction, you deal 180 damage. And then when you play Karen, right, if you're behind or if you're in a, in a bad position, you can deal even more damage. So from a one prize attacker, being able to deal 200 or more damage is very, very strong. So good pull there. Box, very bad so far. Only one hit. I'm hoping that it improves, but to be brutally honest, if it doesn't, whatever. It doesn't matter. We can't get everything that we want. Let's keep cracking through. Are there any cards in here? There's a Gardevoir to talk about. Ba -bum 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 -bum. Gardevoir. Now, you can, you can probably see it a little bit through the glare there, but Shining Ar uh, Arcana, I almost said Aurora, Shining Arcana, a very, very cool ability. Once during your turn, you can look at the top two cards of your deck and attach any number of basic energy cards that you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like. So if you can find a way to put basic energy on top of your deck, Gardevoir can accelerate them, and then it does 60 damage for three colorless energy, plus an extra 30 for every psychic energy that is attached to this Pokemon. So a really, really neat attacker. Um, and it also has a Curlier that has the old Water Duplicates attack from Frogadier, if you remember that far back, to the break era of Pokemon cards. Back in XY. You remember XY? I don't know if you remember XY. What am I, what am I doing here? This is just a disaster. Anyway, keep plugging along. Have we got anything else? No, we do not. Echoing Horn, a decent trainer card, though. We can talk about that one. I like this card quite a lot, especially... If you're a degenerate who likes playing ADP, put a basic Pokemon from your opponent's discard pile onto their bench. Thank you very much. I'll just put that one Dedenne that I've already knocked out back onto the bench so that I can kill it again. That sounds incredibly good. A very nice card indeed. We've got a lot of uh, a lot of interesting cards on the field, but no Vs or Vmaxes just yet. But I'm sure we'll find at least one more. God, packs are hard to work. I don't know how people do this in a manner that's entertaining. Like, I mean, apart from just opening opening a ton of stuff, what are you what are you gonna do, you know? Oh, Taurus. That's an OG150 Pokemon right there. Taurus is really cool, another cool strength single strike Pokemon that I do like. Raging Bull, 20 plus 20 for every damage counter on this Pokemon. It's pretty neat. So you can accelerate some energy uh, during uh, using Houndoom, and then that obviously deals some damage to you, and it also uh, increases the amount of damage that you're dealing by 20. So if you get two strong energy on there, or two single strike energy on there with a Houndoom, then you put 40 damage on your Tauro uh, Tauros, you deal 60 plus 20 times 4, which is a lot, 80, so you're dealing a pretty solid sum of damage for another single uh, single strike attacker. I'll put that one off of the page though, because it's not that great. To be fair, neither's Gardevoir. I don't know why Gardevoir made the page, but Taurus didn't. I don't know. I, have I missed anything as well? Have I thrown anything into the bulk pile that you think would have been useful? I'm not sure. Potentially. What is going on with these packs? Alright, at least we've got a couple of decent cards here. We've got Impact Energy and Old Cemetery. Uh, Old Cemetery is really interesting. I don't know if it's a good card. Uh, whenever a player attaches an energy to one of their non-psychic Pokemon, you get two damage counters. So, I mean, we could combine that with our Taurus, couldn't we? To get some more damage. That's neat. And we also have Impact Energy, which can be attached to a single strike Pokemon. It's a single strike energy. It's not single strike energy. Keep that in mind. It's not single strike energy, but a single strike energy, uh, and it gives oh, it gives Aurora energy to every Pokemon that is single strike. Plus, they can't be confused, which is pretty nice, really. Let's keep plugging along. What do you reckon, Bucket? Are you enjoying this? Are you enjoying the content? Are you? Good grief! I watched uh, I watched Bo Burnham's special on Netflix, which I'm sure you've all watched because it's very good. Um, and then I struggled to make content for like two days because I'm like, what's the point of making content? Yeah, pack. Ignore me. Alrighty. <gasps> Upside down pack. Here we go. What have we got? Oh, look at that. A nice, full art Agatha. But more importantly, a good card in the pack. See what I mean? Path to the Peak. Let's talk about this. This is a really, really cool card if I can get it to focus. 
Pokemon with a rule box in play do not have abilities. This means that Pokemon like Dedenne, Crobat, all of the VMAX Pokemon that have abilities like Eternatus, this card ruins them. Fantastic. Uh, this Full Art Agatha, I've never read this card, which usually means that it's not that great. Uh, move up to three damage counters from your active Pokemon to your opponent's active Pokemon. Thanks. Thank you for that. A very, very nice looking card. I will put it in a sleeve, but that one, uh, not necessarily the Full Art Supporter that you want to pull from this particular box. But that's okay. If you got, if you got every card that you wanted, there wouldn't be any interest in it, would there? Like, it wouldn't be fun. It wouldn't be fun to open the packs if you got everything that you wanted. Yeah! More codes into the side. Let's keep cracking along. We'll try and get through this. This is Zangus again. I've almost got a full playset of them. Uh, there is a bunch of cards that I can deal with later. What about this one? Spiral Energy. It's the Rapid Strike equivalent to the Single Strike Energy, which is called... It's not on the page anymore. Uh, anyway, it's the same exact thing. You can attach it to your Single Strike... Oh, your Rapid Strike Pokemon, sorry. Uh, and your Pokemon can't be paralyzed. Neat. Over there. Well, we've gotten through almost half of a box, and we've had almost no good hits. Uh, I would say zero good hits. Uh, if you're talking playables. Obviously, there are some neat cards that we have stumbled upon. But uh, nothing spectacular. Hopefully, the second half of the box is slightly better. But we're not finished with this half just yet. Anything interesting? Oh, nope. That's a bad pack. Moving on. <laughs> Moving very swiftly on. At least you got to see Bucket, right? That's the key. God, opening packs on camera is a pressure-filled situation. I have a small amount of respect for people like Leonhardt now. What does this Galarian Weezing do? Not a lot. Yeah, okay. Moving on! Second half of the... There we go, guys! 50% of the way through! And wow! What amazing hits we've had! That's why it's called gambling. <laughs> it's just... You know, it's just a bit of fun. We open the packs because we can. And hey, I shouldn't complain, because I'm getting them early. So, why would I complain about it? Pushing through, Frostlass and Laron, not particularly good. Lucky Energy is cool. I'm always a big fan of all special energy that are, uh, you know, different. As long as it's attached to a Pokemon, it provides colorless energy. And if it's damaged by an attack, then you get to draw a card. Neat. Neat effect. Not necessarily uh, amazing. Not game-changing, but definitely neat. So how are you doing? You alright? Hope you're doing okay. I'm sure you're fine. Do you like this? I'm not sure that I like it, to be honest. Keep on going. <gasps> oh, we got two good cards. Alright, let's talk about the two good- Oh my god, another good third good card! Ah! Oh! Fog Crystal! Oh, look at this. Search your deck for a psychic energy or a basic psychic Pokemon. Put it in your hand, then shuffle your deck. Don't mind if I do. And a second path to the peak. I've probably... Just one second. Hey! You wanna... You wanna go out? I'll take her out. Come on. Let's talk about Articuno. <laughs> I won't put a sleeve on it just yet because, uh... I want it to be easier to see. Galarian Articuno V, probably, of the three legendary birds in this set, the worst one. But, we're not going to complain about it. It's got Reconstitute as an ability. Discard two cards from your hand, and then draw a card. Interesting. And then it has Sire for 110. The reason this card is decent is because it provides you with some draw support, right? So every turn you can draw a card and discard two. Sometimes... That can be good enough, right? Just getting an extra card is usually a good effect. So I'm not going to complain about that one. I would like to see literally any of the birds other than that, though. So hopefully we stumble across them later on. We will see. <laughs> we will see. Keep plugging along. Have we got anything? Malamar I've definitely seen before, which is interesting. Uh, Peony is kind of a cool one to talk about as well. Let's talk about that. Peony, discard your hand and draw. Uh, search your deck for two trainers. Reveal them, put your, uh, put them into your hand. That's really, really cool. I like that effect. Um, discarding your entire hand is a bit of a, uh, bit of a rough one. But you know what? That's fine. 
if you get exactly the, the two trainers exactly as you like it, then that's perfectly acceptable. And also, Rapid Strike Malamar has Rapid Strike Tentacles for 40 damage times the amount of Rapid Strike cards in your hand. That is definitely content right there. It's not a good card, but it is content. Let's get some of these other cards off of the page. Let's just, uh, let's just keep the cool ones, the ones that I definitely think are really, really strong. Eh, that is it. I like those ones. I'm going to keep them there. Why not? All right, next pack. Now, do we treat everyone like a child here? Do we go through and play guess the energy, or do we just crack in? Oh, let's just crack in. Uh, oh, 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 another one! Thanks, Pokemon. Appreciate it. <laughs> we got another Zangus. Unbelievable action. Gee willikers. That was the uh, quickest pack opening that I've ever done. Uh, here we go. Oh! 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 And we've got another Fog Crystal. Neat. Okay. So, pull up the sleeves time. This one here is the card from this set. Underworld Door is an incredibly good ability. Once during a turn, attach a Psychic Energy from your hand to one of your bench Psychic Pokemon in, uh, in, in, what, in, in, whatever, in whatever way you like, really. You can do it whatever way you like. You can do it underneath, you can do it on the side. It's up to you. Uh, and then, once you've attached an energy, you draw two cards. So that is an incredible ability. Excuse me? What? Crazy. And Max Geist as an attack is pretty solid as well. 10 plus 30 for every psychic energy that you have in play. But seriously, this card is the chase card from the set. And so being given one is pretty cool. I like it. I could probably just end the video there. God, I don't think it's going to get any better than that, but we'll keep plugging away. Uh, this one gets to go right in the center, though. This goes in the center of the page. I get to rearrange everything a little bit. There we go. Okay. Well, suddenly, we, we don't need these anymore, get them out of here. Suddenly, this box has been good. Because that card probably probably covers the cost, right? That's a, It's an incredibly good one. Anything in this pack? Nah. Nah. Why would we get anything in this pack? This is how you have to... Leon Hart, if you're watching, this is how you have to open your boxes. Alright? I, I don't need to play around. Just show me the good stuff. And get out of my hair. I don't want this to be an 80 hour experience. Oh, oh, look at that. We got a Zero Aura as well. Neat. Okay. Oh, there's the other scroll, if anyone's interested. The single strike scroll. We'll just talk about that very quickly. Bullet Breakthrough, 120. It's fine. Um, okay, cool. There's another Spiral Energy. But, Zero Aura. Another card that I am big on. I like this card. Cross Fist. Does 100 for a lightning and double colorless. If one of your rapid strike Pokemon used an attack last turn, it does 160 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. This is going to sync up quite nicely when you play it with Blaziken VMAX, uh, because you can accelerate energy with that particular card. If we see one, I will uh, I'll, I'll obviously, obviously pull it and show you and talk to you about it. But if not, then whatever. You just have to see it somewhere else. Very, very nice card. I like it a lot. Um, and it means that for the next few months, you're definitely going to want to play Mew in your decks because there are many Rapid Strike decks floating around that will be shooting people on your bench. So be aware of that. Well, suddenly, this box has gone from 0 to 100 very quickly. Any other good cards? Oh, there's a Weavile in this set. What? Oh, Path to the Peak. It's another one. What does this do? I don't know if this is good. Two hit KO during your next turn if the defending Pokemon is attacked or damaged by an attack from the Rapid Strike Pokemon, it'll be knocked out. Oh, that's neat. I'm a big fan of Weavile. I like Weavile as a Pokemon. So hopefully we can see that in some content as well. Hopefully I can make a video on that one. Good grief. And now every time I say, because of the, because of, in, because of inside, every time I say content, I'm like... Anyway. Let's keep plugging along. There's another Malamar, we've got another Old Cemetery. Uh, there's a Doug Trio in here as well that I'm kind of interested to see because that will become another potential OG150 video, which I'm a big fan of. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll keep plugging along and hopefully we can pull one of those. Oh, this pack's just gone on me. This pack has just completely disappeared on me. We'll see what we find. Whoa! Oh, neat. See, told you. Told you that I'm not going to get overly excited. Just the, the just a rainbow rare, just a casual rainbow rare. It happens. 
Uh, and it's Brawly, which we've already seen, but that's the, the rainbow artwork on it. Look at that. Very cool. 100% on board for a rainbow Brawly. That can be traded to many Brawlies. You can trade that down and get four. You probably probably do much better, but that's okay. Alrighty, we've got another rare here, another hit, a Celebi V. Okay, well, uh, that's not a good sign, because I don't know what this card does. And usually if I don't know what a card does, it means that it's not been talked about. Uh, leaflet Dance for one grass, attach any number of grass energy from your hand to your Pokemon in any way you like, and Slashback does 60 and you switch to the bench. I can understand why no one's talking about this card. I'm not even going to put that one in a sleeve. <laughs> Alrighty then, more rubbish on the floor. Let's keep cracking along. What have we got here? Oh, nothing. It's just, you know, it's just what happens. It's what happens when you're opening packs. You just go, okay, well, that pack didn't have anything good in it. Anything good in this one? It's like, yeah, it's got a Melanie. Cool. Keep going. I should probably put these all on the screen so you can see the hits that I've uh, that I've that I've got so far. At the moment, I would suggest that we are likely to get a. Pro we might get one more V. We'd hopefully get two more Vs. Um, but we've only got four packs left, so that's concerning. Um, it might be a, a low hit box. We'll, uh, we'll wait and see. At least, hey, listen, we got the Calyrex, right? So that's the most important thing. We'll keep firing through. Nothing in here. Ba -ba you lose. All right, keep on cracking on. Can Mitch pull one more good card from this box of Pokemon cards? Nope, not that one. This would be a very sad piece of content, if it's just this. I mean, again, I shouldn't complain, but you know. That's the that's the thing about gambling, right? Doesn't matter if you win, you always want some more. Uh, uh. Well, this is the last one. Last pack. Let's see, can I find something of interest? I'm gonna hazard a guess at no, because look at that. Useless. Well, what a box. Plus side, play set of Path to the Peak. So I'm big on that, to be honest. That was worth the price of admission, frankly. I'm happy with that. Look at this calorie ranks. Now all I need is three more. So there you have it, a pretty decent box. I mean, I pulled the Calyrex out of it, so I can't complain. Thank you very much to Pokemon for sending that one through. If you do like this kind of content, then like the video. Go on, give us a, do us a favor. And if you want to see more of this kind of content where I open stuff in a very nonchalant and relaxed manner, then let me know. If not, don't watch it, and I won't do anymore. It's about as simple as that. Thanks everyone for coming along. Thanks to all my members who are inexplicably not being thanked by name in this video. And I will see you all next time for more from the Sableyes. Bye.